Happy birthday, Michelle. Thanks, Dad. It was your grandmother's. She wanted you to have it when you grew up. Now that you're 16, I thought it was time. It's so beautiful. And valuable. So you be careful. See you at supper, honey. Dad? Yeah? Couldn't you change your mind? Why can't I go out with my friends tonight? We went through this yesterday. But like you said, I'm 16 now. I'm not a little kid anymore, please. You know the rules. No socializing on weeknights. Special tonight? No, not tonight. But I'll probably go out on the weekend. What a lovely pair of ladies. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> and how's my musical muse this morning? What? My musical muse. I've written a song all about you. Of me? Yeah, would you like to hear it? Yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> also, what's so quickly? Your last chance to register for the driver's education course. Go, go, go. Here she comes. Happy birthday. Thanks, Caitlin. Happy birthday. Thanks. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. Alex, you shouldn't have. Of course I should have. I wanted to. So do you feel any different? No, not really. I can't wait for my 16th birthday. Only four more weeks. I'm going to have the biggest party. Oh, Alexa, this is beautiful. Thank you. So what else did you get? I want to see everything. My mom sent this. Very stylish. And this was from my dad. That's oh. nice. It's beautiful, Michelle. Isn't it beautiful? It was my grandmother's. I've loved it ever since I was a little kid. It's so typical. He gives me a beautiful ring because I'm supposed to be grown up. And then he won't let me go with my own friends because I'm too young. But it's your birthday. You know. I'm really mad. Oh, man, I can't wait to get my license. All right. <laughs> uh, so the course starts today. 3.30, right after school. All right. <laughs> we need a book. Great, thanks. So how soon till you can drive? Four weeks. We're taking the crash course. Uh, is it just me, or is there something weird about that name? <laughs> oh, man, bad joke. I wish I could take it with you guys, but I don't turn 16 for another one. Christine, your hand in mine, it's so divine, Christine, I'm just a poor boy, I'm just a lonely boy, what would you do, oh, Christine, I love Yay! Patrick, that's so beautiful. Do you like it? I like it. I like it. <laughs> I gotta get ready for class. I'll see you later. Okay, okay. bye. Bye. It's so nice. It's really intense. Yeah, so? Nothing, it's just a comment. It must be so nice having a song written specially for you. See ya. <laughs> Please see Arthur Kobolowski. He is Happy selling birthday. tickets in the cafeteria as I speak. 
and they're going fast. Alexa. This was from DLT. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, <laughs> Where'd he go? You know, I still don't understand why your dad won't let us go out tonight. It's because I'm gonna be there, isn't it? I think this time it's just his dumb rules. It's too bad you couldn't live with your mom. That'd mean moving to Calgary. Besides, I don't like her new boyfriend. You know what you should do? Move out and live on your own. Yeah. I wish. Yeah, but now that you're 16, it's legal. Having friends over any time? I think a little studying is in order, don't you? It'd be amazing. I wouldn't have my dad looking over my shoulder all the time. Michelle, we'd be over there every night. Wouldn't we? Party. <laughs> Actually, everything's pretty cheap. Good, because I I'll need a pair you. of jeans. I know what I <laughs> Hey, Luz, we're going to the mall. Do you think you want to come? Actually, I'm going to visit LD. Do you want to go too? Um, she doesn't want a lot of people to visit her. Well, she doesn't really seem to want any except you. It's just that she doesn't want people to see her in the hospital. But I'll tell you, you said hi, okay? I wonder why she doesn't want anyone to see her. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, well, we'll pick her up, and can you come over to my house and help me with all that dreaded math homework? <laughs> okay, what's for dinner? <laughs> well, I don't know. Hot so lock. we're off to pizza bar then? <laughs> um, sorry, I can't. Why not? I've got a lot of homework. Come on, it's the only night I don't have band practice. I can't build my entire life around your schedule. I didn't say you should. I gotta go. What's that all about? I don't know. Just a reminder that driver's education class is presently getting underway in room Snake, you're wasting your time. You'll never pass the course. <coughs> Joey, if I don't pass, there's no way you'll pass. Look, I may not be too good at school, but I can drive, okay? My dad's let me steer since I was 12. Doesn't mean you know what you're doing. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. So you're taking this too, huh? Yeah. Great. Good afternoon. Welcome to driver's education. My name is Henry, and I'll be your instructor. Now, I know some of you are thinking, why do I have to take this course? You think you know it all. Well, you don't. What's the first thing you should do when planning to drive somewhere? Yeah. Start the engine? <laughs> Very amusing and wrong. Anyone else? Yeah. Walk around the car to check the tires and make sure there's nothing behind or underneath. Exactly. It's what we call the circle check. You see, driving a car is not a right. It's a privilege and a responsibility. I'm going to teach you defensive driving techniques. We're going to learn these techniques plus the rules of the road and then apply them in the in-car sessions. Dr. Carol Navino, please call intensive care. Dr. Carol Navino. LD? Lucy? Yeah. Just that. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? Fine. Heather and Erica say hi. They're asking about you. So is everybody. I've got to tell them something. So tell them. Oh, Dee, what's wrong? Oh, nothing, Lucy. I've got acute lymphocytic leukemia. I've lost all my hair. I feel awful. But apart from that, everything's peachy keen. I'm just so tired of feeling sick all the time.
Gotta be here for at least another month. Gotta be here for my birthday. My 16th birthday. Here. Well, this is exciting. My birthday and I get to spend it at home with my dad. So why don't you try talking to him? What's the use? Look, stop letting him push you around. You're 16. You don't have to listen to everything he says anymore. Michelle, you want to spend your birthday with us, right? Of course. So tell him. I guess we do. I saw what happened out there. What? You and that boy. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You were spying on us? I hardly call it spying. You're out there kissing in front of the whole street. Well, no one seems to mind except you. You know my feelings. I've asked you not to see him, and I won't be disobeyed. Dad, he's my friend. Too bad. Find another friend. You mean someone white? Michelle, you think you know it all, but you don't. You're a racist. That's quite enough. You are. You're a racist. And you, young lady, are grounded until further notice. What? You have to start following the rules around here. Forget it. I'm not gonna follow your dumb, stupid rules. If you don't like it, you can leave. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not being ridiculous. And you can't stop me. Michelle. I'm 16. Michelle, stop acting like an idiot. Think about what you're doing. Where are you going? Answer me! Your dad changed his mind? No. We had a really big fight. I left home. Pages. No. And we should see you vacant lots. They were so really? good, yeah. Figures like missing. I know. <laughs> Too bad. Christine! Hey, oh, there's Patrick. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't want to talk to him. Why? What's he done? Nothing. Are you mad at him? Why don't you just mind your own business? Okay. I just thought we were friends, that's all. Liz. What? Wait. I like him. I really like him. But maybe too much. <laughs> it's just too perfect. I mean, that song he wrote. What's going to happen to me when he leaves? He's not going to leave you. He likes you. Yeah, for now. Oh, come on, Spike. He won't stay. Oh, look at me. What a great catch. I'm short. I'm a mother. Oh, that's just really attractive. Did you finish the assignment? Of course. <laughs> hey, there's Lucy. Hey, Liz. Hi. How was the mom? It was fine. Yeah. Oh, did you see LD? Yeah, how is she? Fine. Liz? Well, <laughs> LD has leukemia. No, oh. that's cancer. She's really depressed, especially since she has to spend her birthday in the hospital. So I thought I'd make her a video. 
you know, to cheer up. Hey, do you guys want to help? Sure. sure. Great. Hey, good morning, Degrassi. Our girls came so um, close to the West She's not going to. Is she? We're proud of you anyway. The doctors say she has a 70% chance. But So if you want to see some Man, I'd give a million dollars to have seen what your father's face looked like when you walked out the door. Didn't he like try and stop you? Sure. But he couldn't stop me. He was furious. You should have seen him. You'll be back. Mark my words. <clears throat> Forget it. I'm never going back. What are you going to do now? I mean, you can stay at my place as long as you like. Thanks, Alexa. But I can't stay with you forever. I've got to find a place that's really my own. All right. Michelle, this isn't like you. <laughs> yeah, it's like somebody else <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like who i used to be i'm 16 this is the new me i'm gonna start looking for an apartment today after school <laughs> anyone want to help yeah, yeah. Of course. these ones are all around town so i thought i'd start looking for them you should find one that's close to the school this is a one bedroom open concept Oh, Michelle, it's so beautiful. Would you like it, Simon? Yeah. So how big is the apartment? Look at the one bedroom. One bedroom? It's not bad. That's all I need. Isn't that a little too small, Michelle? Uh, it's big enough for me. Ooh, watch your step. Oh, neat. It's got a skylight. Oh, man, this is nice. So it's not bad. How much is it? Well, it's uh, eight hundred dollars a month, and I need first and last. Eight hundred dollars a month? How can anybody afford that? Oh, not me. That's for sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Well, what did she say? I don't know. She only spoke Greek. Uh, I think you might be able to help them. Of course I will. Yes, as you can see, you have the domatio in the middle. Yes, we have. Pronto, we have. Yes, 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 I'll buckle up for safety. All right, you may go on. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the first thing that you do? Not so fast here. Oh, okay. Mirror check. Rear view. Mirror side. Brake. Brake. Okay. Radio. That's what we were talking about earlier. Now start the car. Uh, put your foot on the brake. Shift into drive. Ease your foot off the brake. All right. And put pressure on the gas pedal. Gently, gently, whoa. Archie. Stop the car. Archie. We're sorry. Archie. I'm sorry. I, I'm just not used to this car, you know? That's okay. That's understandable. That's why we have these lessons. Okay. okay. Relax. All right. Now let's start again. Oh. Take it easy. Along here. He said he could this drive. Hey, man. Yeah. Okay, here Take I go. Take it easy. Watch the signs. Watch the pedestrians. Look out for the pedestrians. Yes. Archie, you're too close. Archie, you're too close. Yo, that looks like Archie, you're riding. Archie, slow down. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. You're going too fast. What are you doing? You're going too fast. Hey, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Sorry, Henry. <laughs> Basement apartment. Hope this is it. Me too. Hi. Hi, we're here about the apartment. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, it's already taken. Forget it, hey, it's not worth it. It's no problem. She looked weird anyway. Okay, we're just around the corner, so we'll be right there. Thanks a lot, great, bye. Guys, we can go see it right now. It's just around the corner from here. 
Michelle, I'm tired. Me it's too. shared yeah. kitchen and bathroom, one bedroom. This is it. Whoa. Isn't it great? It's probably too expensive. Look how big it is. It's shared. Maybe it's cheaper. It's worth checking out anyway. Come on. Uh, I, I think I'll stay here this time. OK. And this will be your room. This window here faces the south, so there's always a lot of light. This is really nice, Michelle. When's it available? Well, it's empty now. When could you move in? How much is it? Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's two fifty a month. Utilities on top of that, and naturally, I would have to ask for first and last month's rent. Could I get back to you? Uh, yeah, okay, but don't take too long, okay? Because there are other girls interested. All right. So, give me a call later today. Thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. And remember, you have to hurry, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. I really like that room. I have to make up my mind today. She won't hold it any longer. But you need $500 just to move in. How about food and utilities and other but stuff? But it's so perfect. It's right near the school. I could walk. Michelle, read my lips. You can't afford it. Yes, I can. I can sell stuff. You're going to have to sell a lot of stuff. Or something very valuable. Are you serious? You can't. I'm not going to let my father win this time. <laughs> you should drive with this guy, Mr. Smooth. I'm I wasn't you. used to the car. Poor Henry wasn't feeling too good after Snake drove. His face was a little green. Uh, no, Joey. I think that was after you. I don't think this is so. enough. I'm getting tired of hearing Joey, this. Joey, why are you being such a jerk You're about it? You're such a joke, by the way. should have been there. I wish. Justine. Justine. Spike, talk to him. Christine, we have to talk. Sorry, I'm too busy. You can't close yourself off for the rest of your life. Excuse me? I mean, you're not the only one who's nervous. I mean, what about me? Here I am, opening myself up. Do you think I wouldn't be hurt if you decided you didn't like me anymore? Liz told you. But I'm taking the chance. We've all got to take the chance. It's called being alive. So I think you should just enjoy yourself and let what happens happen. But if you want to be afraid, that's fine. But frankly, I think that's being damn foolish. That's quite a speech. It should be. It took me half the night to write it. <laughs> you got the back? Yeah, I got it. All right. Turn it down, guys. I'm glad she got this place. Hurry up, guys. I got to get to work. Just that. My dad was really mad when I told him I found the ring. I bet. I don't care. It's mine. I can do what I want. Anyway, I didn't sell it. They have to hold it for a year. When I get a job, I'll buy it back. I think you can. Of course. So, where do you want this? Uh, right here. <laughs> okay. Uh. Just against the walls, okay? Okay, I got it. <laughs> well, that's all the heavy stuff. Great, thanks. No problem. This was fun. I wish I could stay, but I've got, like, an audition. Right. I'm going with them, too, to bring them luck. <laughs> I'll call you later, OK? Great. Bye. It's a nice place, Michelle. Thanks. Good luck on your audition. Bye. Come on, guys. Move it. Oh, um, I got to go. That was my dad. It's really nice of him to help. <laughs> That's my dad. I'll come over tomorrow. Great. Well, 
You did it. I know. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Will you be okay? Yeah, I think so. I kind of want to be alone anyway, you know. Get used to it.